we're playing uh, McConkie's Ferry, a concert overture by George Antile, as the first piece of our opening night celebration, October 10th, 2014. American composer George Antile was born in Trenton, New Jersey in 1900 and is buried in Trenton's historic Riverside Cemetery. His father owned a local shoe store and his grandparents had a farm in Titusville. He became an international celebrity in the first half of the 20th century, living in Paris and then Hollywood. George Antile, uh, his place in the history of music is very interesting. He was born uh, in Trenton, New Jersey, and uh, by the 1920s, we find him in Paris causing a big ruckus. Uh, he was known as uh, the bad boy of, of music, and he was friends with Picasso and Stravinsky and Eric Satie and Ezra Pound and James Joyce, and was writing music of a very explosive and confrontational style. His most famous piece of the period is Ballet Mécanique, composed as the soundtrack to a film by Fernand Liget. Antile used synchronized player pianos, sirens, whistles, anvils, and airplane propellers to evoke the cacophony of the modern industrialized world. The music provoked a riot at the first performance in Paris. Like a lot of uh, people who are wild in their youth, when he got older he realized that maybe it was better to make an honest living, and so he came back to New York in 1933 and eventually found himself in Hollywood where he applied his uh, musical talents to creating scores for films and for television. He also wrote a number of uh, concert works, pieces for orchestra, based on historical themes, on American themes, and one of those pieces is the piece that we're going to open our season with, McConkie's Ferry. As a boy, Antile spent summers at his grandparents' farm in Titusville, along the Delaware River, right where George Washington and his troops crossed in 1776. He no doubt had childhood memories of the place in mind when he wrote McConkie's Ferry, but he was also inspired by one of America's most famous paintings. It's iconic. It's immense. It's huge. It was recently reframed um, at great expense to the museum and then unveiled as a part of the American wing at the Met Metropolitan Museum of Art. What I love about this connection with McConkie's Ferry and this piece that we're playing is though he's in Hollywood and though he's writing film music for an international audience, he's thinking back to this important event that happened in his, in his not only his home state, but the very city where he was born, Trenton. Because of course, when George Washington crossed the Delaware on Christmas Eve in 1776, he crossed the Delaware into Trenton and had a decisive victory that turned the tide of the Revolutionary War.